So today we're going to be talking about exactly how to prepare for the Halloween update or whatever update decides to come inside of Royal High. So this is going to be the ultimate guide also. So I'm going to explain all of the possibilities of what updates that could possibly come to Royal High during Halloween and how you can prepare for each of those different possibilities. So let's get into the first thing that you should do to prepare for the Halloween update that might come. So first of all, there are going to be a few things that you should do regardless of what kind of update that comes to Royal High. So the f one of those things that you should do is prepare for grinding because of course every single Royal High update, well except for like one or two I guess, comes with some sort of grinding aspect to it. So you're going to want to prepare yourself to make that grinding process more enjoyable and how can you do that? So one of the things that you can do to make grinding more enjoyable is to make a music playlist for yourself. This especially helps me when I'm grinding for things in Royal High. Having a music plays, it just helps you like make the time go by faster, like don't think about the grinding and more just like listening to the songs and like it's especially good songs that like you know and like can sing to or just get some new like Halloween-y songs, whatever you want really that will help you to focus on the grinding and making it a little more, well not really focus on the grinding, like making it a little more fun, you know? Um, anything that can help you to make it more fun for yourself. So that's definitely one of the big things things is to make a playlist that you can listen to and if you already have one that's great you've already done this step so let's go on to the next thing that you can do so the next thing that you can do which is what a lot of you have probably already done is to make a halloween outfit as you can see i have already made a halloween outfit so this is my this is gala's outfits for halloween gala being my oc that i use all the time this is her halloween outfit it is so adorable i love it and this is good what i'm going to be wearing for all my halloween videos so that's definitely one thing that you should do for halloween is to make make an amazing Halloween outfit that's really cute, really stylish, whatever, whatever items you have. Um, and yeah, just add to uh, like the whole vibe and everything. And when you're grinding, it'll even make it a little more fun too, because it'll be like kind of incorporating the roleplay element into it. And this next one is for all of you influencers out there is just a little thing that's pretty optional. You don't really have to do this, but is to get a fall Halloween like layout on your channel. Personally, I just like doing it because it makes everything like, you know, just a little bit more like fit with the theme and a little more like yeah this is a halloween video and you know stuff like that it just makes everything feel like a little bit nicer so you don't have to do it but getting a halloween layout for your social media is definitely something that is pretty fun and pretty hype inducing i guess <laughs> and now let's get into the possibilities of what could happen in this halloween update so there are two possibilities that i have deemed that are most likely for this update but they could also not happen too something totally different might happen who knows or there could be no update at all, which would be very sad and I would be raid quitting and everything. I would I would hate that. But the, there are two things. So the first thing that could happen is that the Halloween update comes with a new school, which is the one I personally would want to happen the most. And I'm going to tell you what to do in that instance. And the second possibility is that Wickery Cliffs will return with maybe like a new item or a new set or hopefully a combination of the two. So let's go over what to do first. So what to do if the Halloween update comes with the new school so there are a few things that you should do when the new if the halloween update comes with the new school the first one i would say is save as many diamonds and levels as you can diamonds because there's gonna be like hundreds maybe items maybe tens or hundreds of items that are gonna come with a new school so you're gonna want to save up for all of those items we well, don't really have to buy it all at once but it's always good to have some diamonds when it comes so you can buy at least a few of them you know because you're gonna want to get a few of them um and for the level because there are going to be a ton of different level up rewards at the new school. It has already been confirmed a million times that you will be able to get all the rewards you already have for your current level. So I'm currently at level 701 and with all of those levels, I'm probably going to get a ton of different level up rewards when the new school releases because I took the time to go ahead and grind and get some levels. So that's pretty cool and you're going to want to be able to get in on those opportunities for the levels and things, especially if you want to roleplay too because there might be some things that would be especially good for roleplaying in the level of rewards and things like that. And the final thing is kind of not really related to the Halloween update but I think you should still do it anyways if it comes to the new school is to decide which element you're going to choose um for the new school. Now I just want to say 
something. I have no idea how the elements are gonna work inside the new school. I have no idea um, if you're gonna be able to like choose it and then change it later or if it's gonna be permanent and you're never gonna be able to change it or if it's like not even what I'm saying right now. If you don't get what I'm saying with the elements, then it's like, you know the thing when you're going into Enchantix and it has you choose the elements. It has already been confirmed that with the new school, there's gonna be all of those elements, elements in the new school and you're gonna be able to get like badges for the elements. You're gonna be able to go to the dorms, get your dorm key through obbies and things like that. You're gonna wanna be able, you're gonna wanna decide which element you wanna choose in the new school. By the way, the elements are dark, light, water, ice, fire, and nature. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be choosing light, but let me know what element you guys are gonna pick in the comments below. Anyways, let's go on to the second possibility for the update is that it is a Waker Eclipse update with a return with the new items inside, which is actually a big possibility too if they still don't get the new school out by the time Halloween rolls around, which I hope doesn't happen, but we still gotta prepare for that possibility. If Waker Eclipse to turn into the new items, then you don't really need to do anything right now because well, you're only gonna have the candies that you saved from last year if you do have any so I don't think I have that many candies. I don't remember how many I had by the end of the event, but I don't think I had that many. So you're gonna just wanna if you're if there's only new items from candies and you don't really have to do anything. But if you wanna say for the possibility that there will be a new set inside the update, which is probably what I want a lot of you guys want. So if there is a new set inside of Royal High, then you're gonna wanna save up at least two hundred to three hundred thousand diamonds. Cause we have no idea how many parts there is gonna be in this new set or how many things there's gonna be in the new set. No, my perfect camera ankle. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna wanna save at least 200,000 to 300,000 diamonds cause set, cause as we all know, sets in Royal High are kinda getting more expensive for some reason. You're gonna wanna save up like a lot of diamonds. So the December stream set was like 200k. The opposite of track was like 200k? I forgot how much it was. It was either like in the high 100s or like 200,000. So yeah, you're gonna need around 200 300k for the Halloween set. I really hope there is a Halloween set. That would be pretty awesome. Um, but if there's not, then you don't really have to do anything because it's just new items. But I would save up for the possibility of there being a set because who knows. So yeah, we've basically gone over every little thing that you can do to save up for the Halloween update. I know it wasn't actually that much. It's mostly just saving diamonds, levels, doing some extra things if you want. Um, there's not really that much you can do to prepare for the update besides doing the things that, you know, you do for every update. So yeah, just make sure to save up your diamonds, make sure to save up your levels just in case it comes to the new school. You should be pretty much set. If we wanted to get into the details on the actual items inside the update, you can go to seasonal, you can go to Halloween, and then here are some of the accessories from Halloween. So you can see we have 100, 100, 275, 450. Um, you can calculate how much all of these items are. I'm not gonna do it because you might not, you might want like this item for instance, and you might have a bunch of the other ones. Like for example, Example, I don't have this mask and I don't have this hat. If someone's shooting a hat, please give me this hat because I need it. I don't have this either. I actually don't have a lot of them because I was mostly saving up. Oh, there's thunder. <laughs> I was mostly saving up for this potion, which I actually did get with candies, which is kind of crazy. I would recommend saving up for all the things you don't have, of course. And if you want to get a duplicate of the things that you do have, then I recommend doing that. There is also, hmm. Okay, where are all like the actual? Of course, you're gonna want to get the Shadow Empress set. This is guaranteed to come back to the game because it says sold to. September 15th to November 15th. I don't think this is all the set. There's actually the shoes too. Let's go to Shadow. Okay, there's Shadow Emperor shoes, 40,000 diamonds. Um, Royale Rebel, you're gonna wanna save for this as well. Royale Rebel, accessories, Royale Rebel. There we go, all of the accessories. The Gothic Cutie set, which is actually coming back a little bit sooner, wait. Oh, they all come back at the same time. So you could technically, technically say that this is a Halloween set, but it's not really because it's on sale in September. So it's not really Halloween set, but you could say it's a Halloween set. I don't know, whatever you wanna say, but you're gonna wanna save for this one as well because it comes on sale. Basically, we have the Gothic Cutie set, the Royal Rebel set, and the Shadow Empress set that you're gonna wanna save for, for this update. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you wanna see my last, yeah, actually the video from last year, how, how to save for the Halloween update, you can go ahead and do that. It'll be on the right side of your screen. It may be a little bit outdated and a little bit worse than this video because it's from 2021, but if you still wanna check it out, that would be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys around soon, and I hope this update is a good one. Bye!